yes, folks, it's the WC here with another video, man. Week two. Week two. NFL game picks. I'm not even going to give you the rundown on week one because it was bad, man. I mean, week one was really bad. It was a lot of games that I did not win. But it is what it is, man. I mean, I think the week one of the NFL season is where all the surprises come in. And a lot of people didn't do well uh, week one. But this is week two. Week two video. <clears throat> Basically going to give you guys the breakdown on all these games and everything. So sit back and relax. If you're looking for last week's game picks, which was basically terrible, um, by the way. It really didn't. You know, hit on any of my, oh, I hit on some of them, but not most of them. But I'm going to be better this week. I guarantee it. This ain't the men's warehouse, but I guarantee it. All right, let's just go ahead and get right into this, man. We'll start with the first game this week, the Thursday night football game, Pittsburgh and Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to talk about Ray Rice in this video. I'm just not going to do it. Um, I'll talk about it in another video. Y'all stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel. Y'all see that video real hot and quick. So I'm basically just going to talk about this game. You know, Pittsburgh is coming off of a win against, you know, the Cleveland Browns, the Johnny Manziel show, as I like to call it. And, you know, they put up a, a very good game, but they, you know, they, they squandered the lead in the second half, which is kind of concerning. And then Baltimore, you know, you know, like I said last week, you know, Cincinnati was capable of going into Baltimore, beating Baltimore, and that's exactly what they did. All right. You know, the Ravens are favorite, minus three. You know, I'm I'm going to go with Pittsburgh in this game. I just feel as though that Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers are rounding a corner, man. I think that they're just going to be one of those teams where they just find ways to win, and I'm going to go with Pittsburgh. Some people might consider that an upset, but I'm going with Pittsburgh on Thursday night. All right. Going to the Sunday games, 1 o'clock Eastern, Sunday games. First game, Detroit against Carolina. I think that Cam Newton is not going to be playing this week once again. Um, it's real early in the week, so you really don't know. All right. So that that's definitely going to have an impact on the pick. The picking day definitely changed between now and Sunday because I'm doing this video, you know, Wednesday morning-ish. And a lot of things change right around, you know, Wednesday afternoon when the injury reports and stuff come out. So, you know, I'm looking at this game and I'm saying Detroit, I think, is a better team. Calvin Johnson, Megatron, Matthew Stafford, and that high-powered D4, Detroit offense going into Carolina. And Carolina's defense is not no, I mean, you know, they're not no slouch, slouch or anything like that. They put up a very, very impressive performance. But there's just something in the back of my brain that's just telling me that Derek Anderson, if he starts this week, I don't know if Cam Newton's going to start or not. If Derek Anderson starts this week, all right, I don't think that Carolina can beat Detroit. I just, I just don't. In my heart of hearts, I, I don't see it. I don't think that I, I don't think that they can beat him. So I'm going to go with Detroit in this game. Even if Cam Newton plays in this game, I'm still picking Detroit. So there's two road teams so far. All right. Miami at Buffalo. Now, both of these teams put on magnificent, impressive performances. You know what I'm saying? If you're you know, a Patriots fan, you should be kind of scared. I'll get to that a little bit later on in this video. Um, Miami at Buffalo look like they're just, you know, going to be the teams that just come from out of nowhere. Strength. I mean, you know, it's only one week, and any team could look good in one week. But Buffalo made a huge statement going into Chicago and doing what they did. And, you know, Miami... Doing you know doing New England the way that they did last week, it was just impressive. This is probably going to be one of the best games of the weekend. All right, I think that this is a top game of the weekend, and I'll mention that down in the comments, uh, based off of Week One. So EJ Manuel, CJ Spiller, Freddie Jackson, and that Buffalo defense. I can't forget about Sammy Watkins. I mean, this is just going to be a great game, man. Tannehill. I mean, both of these teams. If I have to pick a winner, which is the which is the point of this video. All right, I'm going to go with Buffalo, man. I think they're going to circle the wagons, man. There's just something about Buffalo, man, with that speed. You know what I'm saying? But if Miami wins this game, don't come back to this video talking about shock face because I'm sitting over here. I'm on the fence about this game. But if I had to pick them, Buffalo's favored by, you know, a field goal, a couple points, I'm taking Buffalo. I'm taking the favorite in the game. All right, Jacksonville at Washington. Washington, Washington looked terrible. My own team looked terrible against the Texans. They looked horrible. All right, RG three, he still looks like he's mentally hurt. I mean, it just he just doesn't look good at all, man. 
And that Redskins defense didn't throw the ball downfield. How do you have Deshaun Jackson and not stretch the field vertically? I don't understand that. I don't get it. All right. Maybe he just didn't have enough time because J.J. Watt was basically, basically in the backfield the whole entire game. But they're going against Jacksonville. Jacksonville looked impressive against the Eagles, man. They were a strong, a big, huge underdog against the Eagles. And they basically were blowing them out by 17 points at one time a point. But, you know, we all know how that game ended up. And, you know, Jacksonville had the come-from-ahead loss um, to, you know, Philadelphia. But in this game, man, you know, if there's any game for Washington to basically come back out and make a statement, is this game. And, you know, Jacksonville has already proven this year that they're not no slouch, that they're going to be a tough team to beat already. You know, the stat line says Washington by seven, maybe two touchdowns in this game. I'm going to say that it's going to be Washington by probably 10 points. I'm going to take the skins this week. Hopefully they don't disappoint me. Um, next, next team, Dallas and Tennessee. Dallas looked terrible against the 49ers, and Tennessee looked absolutely impressive against the Chiefs, man. It almost looked like the it almost it almost looks like Tennessee basically took Kansas City Kansas City's swag that they had last year and just, you know, just they they looked like they were Kansas City playing um uh Kansas City. But uh I'm gonna take uh Tennessee in this game. I think the Dallas is just all they're just messed up, man. Defensively messed up. Their offense looked terrible. You know, Romo and them boys, they can't afford going 0 and two but that's probably what it's going to be. I'm going to go with Tennessee. Arizona goes to the Giants. Um, it's this is just this is just another game in which I'm looking at it and I'm saying Eli Manning. He, they didn't look too bad on Monday night, but they look bad enough. I'm going to go with the Arizona Cardinals in this game. Yes, I'm going with the I'm going with the road team here. You could say that that's an upset special. A West Coast team coming to the East Coast. Hey, that's an upset special, folks. You guys mark it down. Um, here's here's another upset special. All right, New England going into Minnesota. Minnesota's basically playing in, I think, uh, the, the University of Minnesota Stadium, I think, because they're actually building a new uh, stadium in Minnesota. I think it has a retractable roof. I don't know if it does or not. Um, it is what it is. But I'm just going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say that I'm going to go with Minnesota here. Um, New England could definitely win this game. They're actually favored. So this is basically my official upset special. All right. Two upset specials in a row this week. All right. I told you my picks were going to be better this week. All right. Take Minnesota in this game. I take the underdog until New England can, you know, maintain the lead. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when they got up, they didn't run the ball. They were still throwing the ball down the field. You know, I'm going with Minnesota this week. Um, the next game, New Orleans and Cleveland, the Johnny Manziel show. You know what I'm saying? Hosts is his first home game. All right. And that Cleveland defense is pretty darn impressive. But Drew Brees, Jimmy Graham, do I need to say anything else? You know, Mark Ingram. I think that they should be able to rebound from that loss that they had to Atlanta next week. I'm taking New Orleans moving along here. You know, Atlanta with the last second victory against New Orleans, like I just said before, going into Cincinnati, who had an impressive road win. All right, against the Baltimore Ravens. This is probably going to be another one of those nail biter games because Atlanta, you don't know what you're really going to get from Atlanta sometimes. And then Cincinnati has one of the best defenses and one of the top offenses in the league. I'm going with Cincinnati. I'm going with the home team. St. Louis and Tampa Bay. This is one of those games where, you know, somebody got to win. I mean, really, <laughs> I think that both of these teams are going to be contender for the first overall pick, basically. All right, and not to, not to say that St. Louis's defense is not capable or Tampa Bay's defense is not capable. I'm just saying like they don't get enough offensively from either one of these teams, and I think that Tampa Bay is going to be able to piece piece together a little bit more offense than St. Louis. But I don't know. I'm gonna go with St. Louis in this game. Another upset special. I mean, I, <laughs> honestly, I can't really call this an upset special because both of these teams are probably going to contend for the first overall pick. I mean, what do you want me to say? The 4 o'clock games. Let's go ahead and get into it. Seattle against the Chargers. All right. Now, Seattle had an impressive game, you know, first week against um, Green Bay. Very, very impressive. But, you know, going into Seattle, man, not the Seattle, but San Diego. I, I don't know. Like, Phillip Rivers, I think that he could pull out this win. I'm going to go with San Diego. I'm going against, the, going against the stat line once again. I'm going with San Diego at home. Houston with their impressive win. I'll say it like that for Houston. That's impressive. 
J.J. Watt and the Houston Texans go to Oakland. You know, Oakland is one of those teams in which, you know, I want to say that they have a chance to win this game. But I don't think that they get enough overall from all the parts on their team to win this game. Um, but once again, I'm flip-flopping right in the middle of the picks. I'm going to go with Oakland here. I think that Houston's win over Washington was kind of fluky. It was a defensive effort. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with Oakland here. Especially for Oakland to get their first win of the season. New York Jets against the Green Bay Packers. Uh, the Jets looked impressive enough to get that win last week over Oakland, but they didn't, you know, they didn't super impress. And then Green Bay is coming off that um, that loss against Seattle, a team that's probably, you know, going to be a lot of people this year, even though I just picked them to lose to San Diego. I'm going to go with Green Bay, man. I don't think that Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay goes 0-2. I don't think that that happens. Kansas City travels to Denver, another 4 o'clock game. You know, Kansas City is more than capable of going to the Denver and beating Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos, but not this time. Not so fast, my friend. Not so fast. Denver starts 2-0. And then you got Chicago and San Francisco on Sunday Night Football. Sunday Night. It's the um, home opener for the 49ers. And I think that the 49ers are going to represent, man. Kaepernick and them boys put on a impressive performance, a good performance against the Dallas Cowboys last week. And I think that the good performance is going to continue against Chicago. Chicago just looks like one of those teams is just going to start 0-2. I mean, it just looks like that. And then on Monday Night Football. Monday night, you got Philly against Indianapolis. Indianapolis didn't necessarily look good against Denver. And then you got Philly, who didn't look good in the first half, and they came back. I think that Indy is going to win this game on Monday night, probably by a field goal or so. So, yeah, man, this week's two's picks. WC's week two's picks. Let me run down the list. All right. Let me make sure I didn't flip flop it last year. I flip flop when I did when I did the rundown. All right. Here's my picks. Pittsburgh, Detroit, Buffalo, Washington, Tennessee, Arizona. You can mark that as an upset pick. Minnesota, you can mark that as an upset pick. New Orleans, that's not an upset pick. <laughs> Cincinnati. St. Louis, San Diego, Oakland, Green Bay, Denver, the 49ers, and the Colts. That's my week two picks, man. Let me know how you guys feel down below. It's a WC, man. If you listen to this video for 13, 14 plus minutes, you might as well, you might as well go ahead and pimp slap. I mean, straight slap that thumbs up button share it a couple times let everybody know about this video right here and join in the discussion down low how you feel as though your team played in week one how you see them playing in week two so wc you hear the music cutting me off so you know that the video is about to be over until next time folks peace out